Hey everybody, Chris here. Well, now that Ethereum has merged and gone from a proof of work cryptocurrency to proof of stake, there's a lot of talk about Dogecoin and whether Dogecoin should also make that switch over to proof of stake. I'm going to explore that in this video. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that little notification bell so you can be notified when I make more videos and when I go live. My live streams are now Monday nights and Friday nights. So if you subscribe to my channel and you can get notified when I go live, you can come join the chat. We have a good time talking about cryptocurrencies, Dogecoin, looking at the charts, talking about what's going on. And what's going on with Dogecoin? Dogecoin is doing just fine. Still number 10 top cryptocurrency by market cap. It is now the number two proof of work cryptocurrency. And what is proof of work? Well, some of you may still not quite know that proof of work means that there are miners and the miners are validating transactions on the blockchain. And so with that, that gives the cryptocurrency its security. Each transaction is validated so that there can't be hacks on the blockchain. So go to proof of stake, you lose that security. The security needs to be made in another way, and that is by staking. And if by staking, that provides the security that is required, I'm not completely sure that that is going to last a long time. There have been a number of hacks already. We'll get into that uh, whole hacking thing, what's going on. Um, but right now, looking at Bitcoin and Dogecoin, as the top proof of work cryptocurrencies, they're pretty secure, they're pretty safe. And uh, I, I just personally don't think a transition to proof of stake is in Dogecoin's best interest. Now, some people say that, well, look, Dogecoin gets 5 billion new Dogecoin every year given out to miners that are added to circulation. Well, that 5 billion first is a max. We saw last year, it wasn't anywhere near 5 billion. It was only about half of that because the volume is pretty low. So not as much mining going on. So it's not always 5 billion. That's one thing. But still, yeah, as you can say even 2 or 3 billion. That's a lot of Dogecoin. But you look at Dogecoin overall and its inflation. Well, now that we see how big inflation is year over year, Dogecoin is actually deflationary in terms of how many new Dogecoin come in versus what inflation is overall in the world. So that, I don't think that's a bad thing, but also Dogecoin as use of currency, and that's its utility as currency, adding more does enhance the value of Dogecoin. There's a lot of people who just want Dogecoin to get capped, not have new more Dogecoin being added, and that that will inflate the price and everyone will get rich. Well, if you're thinking like that and only as an investor, yeah, you'll probably say that. But the long term viability of Dogecoin is what we're talking about. And that is as currency, as Mark Cuban, Elon Musk and others have said, that is what makes Dogecoin special. That's why a lot of us support Dogecoin. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at some news articles for more details on should Dogecoin change from proof of work to proof of stake. So we'll start here by looking at Crypto Explorer, who did this graphic and look at this top proof of work cryptos by market cap. Here's Bitcoin number one and here's Dogecoin number two. Ethereum Classic, Litecoin and Monero following. But there is Dogecoin, the number two proof of work cryptocurrency. So with Dogecoin now the second largest proof of work coin after the Ethereum merge, uh, that is great for Dogecoin. Now Ethereum merged over to proof of stake really because of the competition I think that Solana was, was giving them. Now Ethereum is a completely different cryptocurrency than Dogecoin. Ethereum isn't being used as currency, right? It's a blockchain for smart contracts. The gas fees are still high. Uh, Ethereum was, was, was really slow. And also there were a lot of talk about the energy used for mining Ethereum, more so Bitcoin, but, but mining Ethereum and that changing to proof of stake because there's no more mining, 
it doesn't have that energy uh, wasteful that some say. Well, Dogecoin, uh, the mining on Dogecoin is so small that it doesn't even uh, register as this huge wasteful uh, thing of energy. Now, if more miners are coming over to Dogecoin, Do Dogecoin grows again and the mining increases, that energy uh, argument may show up again. But right now, it's not for Dogecoin. Dogecoin, however, is very fast. It has been it has been up, upgraded by the devs to increase its transaction time because Elon Musk also was, was tweeting about it and the devs said, okay, we can work on this and speed it up. Now, is it as fast as you could have with a proof of stake cryptocurrency? Well, no, but as a proof of work cryptocurrency, it's going quite fast and that is great for Dogecoin. Ethereum transition to proof of stake may make it a security under US law. This is the other thing that's come into play here about, about going to proof of stake is the SEC and Gary Gensler. He believes that staking looks very similar to lending. And as soon as you introduce that and uh, what's going on with the possible regulation of cryptocurrencies in the United States, if Ethereum is deemed to be a security, uh, that could cause some problems going forward. Dogecoin and Bitcoin, proof of work, not securities. Now, I haven't heard anyone say that Dogecoin wouldn't be a security, but because it is so similar to Bitcoin in its makeup, uh, just the hash is a different is a different model, is all the old, really the only difference, and the increasing number of coins given as rewards to miners. Um, Dogecoin should not ever be deemed a security by the SEC, in my opinion. Dogecoin's transition to proof of stake may cause greater pump than Ethereum merch. So this is what this is what really gets down to is that camp that's really in. Let's change Dogecoin to proof of stake. They just want the price to go up. They want to see a big pump in the price, and. Uh, for me, long term, Dogecoin, uh, just that pump. I mean, yeah, it makes everyone feel good. Yeah, the price of Doge is going up, but the price of Doge it was going up last year without being proof of stake. So it doesn't need that. What it needs is the utility and the support for more people and more people buying it. That's what Dogecoin needs, and that's what will make it pump. It doesn't need this, this change to proof of stake just to cause Dogecoin to pump. Ethereum's Vitalik Buterin is very hopeful that Dogecoin moves to proof of stake. And of course, Vitalik would say that because he's talking about this, this bridge, right, between Dogecoin and Ethereum, and that he would actually support Dogecoin more if it was proof of stake and there was this bridge. Um, we got all excited about that when that was first talked about over a year ago, but now, Vitalik would uh, wants Dogecoin to, to help his Ethereum platform, which Dogecoin would do that. Uh, so I see why, why uh, Vitalik would support that. But I think in this case, Vitalik isn't looking out for what's in the best interest of Dogecoin. He's looking out for what's in the best interest of Ethereum. Here's the Motley Fool. Is it too early to be talking about a merge for Dogecoin? Dogecoin now the second largest proof of work blockchain in the world. Ethereum's recent technological upgrade has highlighted the advantage of moving from proof of work to proof of stake. If Dogecoin attempts a similar type of upgrade, it could un unlock enormous value in the blockchain and make the meme coin relevant again. Well, I mean, this is Motley Fool, right? Saying this, uh, why would this unlock enormous value in the blockchain? Because the Dogecoin blockchain is there and the devs are talking about, let's get some more coders, some more developers coming into Dogecoin, and let's start working on the blockchain as it is. It doesn't need to be proof of stake in order to unlock other enormous value. Now, there's some talk about this Dogechain project, and I've talked about that before, and I don't support it. It's not supported by the Dogecoin community, and uh, it's just people doing a money grab and creating new DeFi projects and tokens on top of it that are just pumps and dumps and 
and they're just making money off of it is all they're doing and you can you can look into that and you can just see that just one pump and dump after another and it's just dogecoin does not need that there's enough of that going on on uniswap and bnb you know this the, the bsc tokens dogecoin doesn't need that all this DeFi stuff i mean dogecoin doesn't need to be DeFi like everybody else dogecoin has its own blockchain i think it's just fine but here's what i also want to talk about here's the new york times the crypto world is on the edge after a string of hacks more than two billion dollars in digital currency has been stolen in hacks this year shaking faith in the experimental field of decentralized finance known as DeFi. Yes, this is, this is what else projects being built on top of Dogecoin could introduce because we've seen it over and over again. And let me scroll down here to, to uh, this talk about um, different breaches in, uh, in DeFi, bridges in, in cryptocurrency create these holes upon which crypto can be stolen so down here we talk about um this year's hacks uh in march a group sponsored by the north korean government stole 620 million dollars in digital currency from the ronin network a DeFi platform that powers the video game axie infinity around the same time a hacker exploited a software flaw in a DeFi project called the wormhole for 320 million dollars the wormhole hack exploited vulnerabilities in a novel element of crypto technology known as cross-chain bridge, which allows investors to switch back and forth between digital currencies built on separate blockchains. So people are doing this in, on other blockchains. Dogecoin doesn't need this for what Dogecoin is. It, it, it doesn't need this. And these bridges are holes and cracks that hackers can get in and steal from. And I don't think Dogecoin should be associated with these kinds of bridges that open itself up to be hacked. So I mentioned earlier where I stand on this, I think Dogecoin should stay where it is as a proof of work cryptocurrency. I think for its long-term viability as well as its security, that's the best thing is just to keep what it is. It's doing pretty well overall. Number 10 in uh, top cryptocurrencies, that's pretty good. Let me know in the comments below what you think about proof of work or proof of stake for Dogecoin. Give the video a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the support. We'll see you next time.